Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Olds with your five in five. Get up to speed on five topics in five minutes. CTR celebrated the launch of its opioid awareness campaign. Tickets for a concert for recovery powered by CT Realtors featuring Keith Urban went on sale and nearly sold out in the first few days. The concert is November 17th at Mohegan Sun Arena. CT Realtors partnered with WTNH News 8 and iHeart Media for the concert and multi-month campaign. Both media outlets flooded their platforms to launch this campaign. They will air multiple stories and promotions in the coming months as well. CTR members can get more information about the campaign and the concert at ctrealtors.com slash hope. Realtor leaders from across the region were in Connecticut last week for the annual New England Realtors Conference. Just incredible the, the representation we have from the National Association of Realtors. It's, it's been amazing. 2020 NAR Region 1 Vice President Gene Fercadini hosted the conference at Foxwoods Resort and Casino. Speakers included 2020 NAR President Vince Malta and 2020 NAR First Vice President Leslie Ruda Smith. The two days also included a Rising Stars panel and NAR informational panel discussion. Fercadini says the conference offered a lot of information for everyone. The information that you get here, it's the same thing that you get from the National Association of Realtors when you go to their convention. And for the opportunity of people in the surrounding states to come just here to see this, I think is very important. The conference also featured a keynote address from national speaker Terry Watson, who provided some tips and techniques to help polish your business skills. We have another local Realtor of the Year to announce. The Newtown Board of Realtors recognized David Landau with the honor. David is the Newtown Board President this year and a member of the CTR Board of Directors. A couple important legislative changes are in effect as of October 1st and they impact the way you do business. One involves a revised version of the property condition form. The Department of Consumer Protection made several changes, including to the name of that form. It's now called the Residential Property Condition Report. Other changes include removing several exclusions as to when the report is required, revising questions related to foundations, and adding mentions of pyrotite. The updated form must be used for all listings on or after October 1st. There's also a new mandatory foundation disclosure form that must be used in certain transactions. Both forms are available in the electronic forms libraries as of October 1st. A special hot sheet with more detailed information went out to all members. Time for another safety tip from the National Association of Realtors in honor of September as Realtor Safety Month. As a realtor, you probably spend a lot of time in your car. Be sure to pack an emergency kit with water, non-perishable food, blankets, and a flashlight. You never know when you may need it. For more tips from NAR and information on the Realtor Safety Program, go to nar.realtor safety. That is your 5 and 5. I'm Christy Olds for CTR-TV.